And here we have the It's Alive trilogy from Screen Factory in all its glory here. This is going to be just a unboxing. I will review this eventually on the website. As I try to adjust things here. I can't tell you exactly when it will be reviewed on the website, but like a virgin on prom night, it's coming and coming soon. That being said, this release is pretty cool. For a number of reasons, one being it's a return to a collector set type thing, which I don't think we've seen one like this since probably the Amityville Horror Collection that came out. Oh, this is a very thin slip. This isn't thick like Arrow ones. This is pretty, pretty thin, but it's cool nonetheless. Um, also, you will notice that this is in association with Warner Brothers, so. It's going to be very interesting to see maybe what comes down the pike if they get their hands on some stuff like maybe Creepshow or something of that nature. You see, we got a new 2K scan from the original Elements. New Cohen's Alive. Looking back at the It's Alive films featuring interviews with writer, producer, director Larry Cohen, actor James Dixon, more people there, audio commentaries for all three films, with filmmaker Larry Cohen, theatrical trailers, TV spots, radio spots, still gallery, whole nine yards. Here it is. There is the art on the back. Barcode block because this is a review copy. Rated PG and R. I will tell you, I'm somewhat ashamed to admit that I have never seen any of the It's Alive movies, but. I guess this is a pretty good time to start as we take them out of the, see it's a thin, thin box, but cool nonetheless. And we have, first up, we have It's Alive. There's the extras on the back of that if you want to pause it and see. Gotta admit, that cover is not the coolest, but... I think maybe the overall cover for the main box makes up for it. When you pop this one open, ugh, we got a pretty cool disc art there. And if I can use my good hand, my strong hand, and show you that. That actually has pretty, pretty decent reverse art. Might be forced to swap that one. That one looks pretty pretty good might swap it the second one it's alive it's alive baby it was only the beginning the it's alive baby was only the beginning hmm. now there are three of them well there's the back art special features for you fine folks that wants to pause it there is the disc art Another reversible cover. It Lives Again, alternate title. Cool disc art. Probably cooler than that, to be honest with you. But I digress. Still, overall, awesome stuff. Now, if only the movies are actually good. Let's hope for a small prayer request that the movies are good. The Island of the Alive. This is the, of course, third and final one in the set. I remember seeing that, that video box at the video store, I think, when I was a kid, but I never rented it. There is the extras on the back. It's my hands doing a weird shake thing. Not sure what's up with that. Might want to get that checked out. Pop it open. And you can see there is... There's no... No reverse cover art on this one. But I guess I figured, well, that cover's cool enough, so... Why bother? When you add them all up together, you end up with the very cool Screen Factory slash Warner Brothers It's Alive trilogy. So, pick that up and keep checking back on maybe this channel or definitely ZombiesDon'tRun.net as I will have reviews for them very soon.